I got me a truck, a trailer, and a chainsaw. Stay back, I got a chainsaw. In zero dollars, can we go from zero to 100 million? Let's find out. Well, hello and welcome back in everybody. We are here on episode 60 on our journey from zero to $100 million. We're at $30 million right now. That is pretty cool. Currently heading over to pick up some cotton bells right now. And there is a production I want to put in. I kept forgetting about this over and over and over again. I actually loaded in here, started planning out my episodes, saw all this cotton over here. I'm like, oh, I should get that production. I finally remembered it. I back out and turns out I already got the production installed. I guess I remembered to install it a while back, but I never remembered to use it. So that is exactly what we're going to do here tons and tons of bells to pick up no not really i don't know exactly how many we got i think there's six in this field maybe two in the other field so not much also i got some great tips on how to turn this into loose cotton well not exactly this bell well you know what? maybe there was a part about the bell but there was also a cotton harvester that would make it loose or something along those lines i'd have to reread that comment figure it out but i might be doing that next time around if i plant cotton because this episode here i want to plant a million dollar crop or plant a crop that will get us to 100 million dollars because what i'm about to plant i feel like is a huge huge value but first let's get that new spinner in and then we'll look at that stuff my other productions that require this cotton go here and here i believe i might have some still sitting outside nope I guess they're not sitting outside anymore. I might have to top them off. But either way, let's find that production. I'm going to put it over here. Keep it in the same general area, possibly. Along with getting rid of this. Why not? Not using it anymore. Give me plenty of room because the two productions I'm going to be using the most for this next product I want to plant are right here and here. Don't know if y'all remember what those are or no, but we'll get to it eventually. This is what I'm going to go with right here. It is the custom production spinnery. I believe this is one they asked me to get. And now that I look at it more, I don't know if I wanted it over here. I feel like it'd just be in the way. Eh. Oh, well, we'll put it right here. Looks good. Well, I mean, it looks okay right now there it looks better now kind of well you know what i got different colors here you will believe it i ain't too worried about it. i'm in a hurry here we're gonna get to that 100 million i think i'm gonna do nothing but this series until i get to that 100 million looks like all that cotton was able to go in there which is pretty nice and man i don't know what happened there i only had four bells but somehow i got 40,136 liters interesting numbers there but we'll go with it i guess <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and turn on clothes possibly oh now i gotta make fabric first okay well that's fine we'll do cotton to fabric and then cotton to clothes or fabric to clothes my bad and then of course this is going to set up on distributing and we'll store those clothes until a later sell date but it should turn that cotton into fabric fabric should turn into clothes hopefully i'm not exactly sure how to force that cotton into the cotton beller but if it would go in there i believe we would be at 100 percent capacity i don't know maybe those percentages are a little bit different and don't match up exactly because i only see 1249 liters in that cotton and i need like another 4000 something but i will go ahead and touch up the spot that got missed see if anything changes over See if it goes up and gets me a full bell or not. Highly doubt it. it. Turns out I ended up with five more bells on the field and this trailer only holds four and that's a little bit of an issue for me because I do not want to come back. So let's see if we can get it loaded up in the back of the truck or on top of that. I'm definitely going to try to stack it on top of that. Now obviously I cannot lift this without some super strength so we're just going to do that real quick. I guess I could go get something to manually do this. <laughs> but uh yeah that ain't happened oh my gosh that just looks dangerous like it that falls on me i'm done but i think it might ride it did strap down it's looking good we'll see if it flips over now these last five bells here 50,000 liters of cotton that's gonna go over to our granny's nowhere and i think i'm gonna upgrade it all the way to level 10 the reason i like that one so much is i just put the cotton in it makes the clothes i ain't gotta make the fabric then the clothes it can go straight to the clothes pretty cool i like it I think I'm going to like it even more once I upgrade it. Before I put in that other production, it was one of the fastest ones I had. And oh my gosh, I think I got field work to do over here. Yeah, uh, it did look like I had a little bit more grass work to do over here. But I mean, obviously I'm not doing I got a worker doing that. I got other stuff to do. But like I was saying, I believe that Granny's Knitwear was my fastest production for clothes. Not sure what this new one I just put in yet. I don't exactly want to do the math. I mean, who likes to do math? I think I'll just wait and see which one runs out or how fast they run out. Looks like to do our first upgrade is only $5,500, so this is going to end up probably being pretty cheap overall. I believe it goes up every single time, and I'm going to keep trying this over and over again until it's maxed out at level 10, and looks like, yes, it did go up. $500 there. Still pretty cheap compared to that $30 million. We are now up to level 10 on this production. This wool right here, I'm going to set as priority 1, maybe? I don't know. Eh, well, let's just leave it as priority 10. They get kind of evenly split out because I believe rest of them are priority 10. But the cotton, we'll leave there. Fabric, not worried about because we're not doing 
doing anything with the fabric. What we're doing here is we're going clothes from wool, clothes from cotton. Let's put all that cotton in there I got. It's definitely going to hold it all. Probably should have put it all in here, but oh well. I believe I'm good to go ahead and sleep to the next month. See how much money we get? I think I'm good. Thing is, there's stuff to do back in the town. Don't know if I did it before or not. I mean, it's been a minute since I played. I'll take a risk on it. We'll see what happens. Maybe some of my production shut down because I forgot to take care of them. Now in the month of November and almost $32 million and there's a little bit of an issue. Let's check this crop calendar real quick. I can no longer plant wheat, barley, canola, any of that stuff because, I mean, there's really nothing to plant, I don't think, here. Eh, I guess some grass. I can plant that. But what am I exactly waiting for that's going to make me all that money? I believe make me all that money. It's going to be something in this area right down here. The red beets, carrots, or parsnips. Probably the carrots is what I'm leaning towards, but I don't think I got anything else to do until April, so I'll see y'all then. I just got a lot of animals to move around, a lot of animals to feed. It's going to be a busy winter for me, but not for y'all. Still in the month of November here, and I'm looking for stuff to sell off. Solid fertilizer, $1.2 million best sell price right now. The thing is, I keep forgetting and missing these empty pallets, empty barrels, and they're just kind of maxed out, not making their full potential. So I should probably sell them. That way they kind of make their full potential or yield or whatever I'm trying to say. I don't know what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to put these empty pallets, empty barrels, all the extras on selling where I got them at. The solid fertilizer on selling. Skip over the next hour. Ooh, honey. Oh, I'm sorry I wasn't talking to you, but honey. <laughs> <laughs> $2.7 million. Wow. I'm gonna hold on to that for right now. That's a $300,000 difference between now and max value. Gosh, don't forget to sell that thing. That is a lot. Altogether, we can look down here right now. If I was to sell every single thing I had, $16.5 million. We're still in November here, and I was going around checking some more levels and realized, hey, this stuff is really, really full. So about to sell off some more of this. Man, we're going to have a lot of money after this month. I got all my greenhouse item type things set up on selling automatically. Really interested to see what they make right there. Went up to $36 million. Oh, that is amazing. Getting close, getting close. I don't know. Maybe I can finish this episode at like $50 million. Over halfway there, maybe. And we'll see. No promises. Not exactly sure what's going on here, but for some reason it's saying out of space. So it won't even make stone slabs, stone blocks, none of that stuff. Very interesting. Hmm. This is actually pretty ridiculous. Um, I don't know why, but it's full again. Well, obviously that means the production after this is not going as fast as this one is. That's why. Maybe I should go ahead and upgrade them, but let's look in here real quick because it's not just this one, it's my other ones also. They're back to full. We're here in the month of December now with $38 million. And I believe I'm getting like two to $3 million just from selling off these products each month automatically don't know if i should keep selling them or upgrade the ones later to try to make a little bit more money i'll look into that it ended up costing almost a million dollars i believe right around eight hundred fifty thousand dollars to upgrade this fruit factory over here fruit factory whatever fruit juice what is it called exactly juice and jam factory because that appears to be where most of the stuff is going it was at level five now it's at level 10 the greenhouse before this is at level five so hopefully it all starts coming over here and making me a little bit more money passively of course overnight coming up to the end of march now well, it's kind of the beginning of the month, but I'm done with the month, except for one more thing. There's something that's going to make us $4 million. Well, right around $4 million. They subtract some fees in there, huh, like government does. Gosh dang, taxes, you know? No, it's not really taxes, but that would be kind of a bummer if they do add that to this game. Anyways, <laughs> just spiraling out of control there a little bit. What am I going to sell? That's going to be honey. Let's take a look at that. Best sell price time right now is March, and right now, I guess, is best sell price. Usually that doesn't line up, but hey, it does this time. $4,600,000. $61,000. Now, of course, like I said, we're not going to get that full amount. There's going to be a little bit taken out. I'm definitely expecting to go up over $46 million from where we're at right now. So over $3 million. We'll probably be in $47 million because we're almost at $44 right now. Got that honey set up on selling now. All I got to do is just fast forward some time. It'd be pretty nice if I could do that in real life sometimes. Well, not really fast forward, but $47.6 million is how much we have in the bank right now. Ooh. This late game stuff is taking a long time, but also making a lot of money. Now in the month of April, and it is time to plant these fields. Quite a bit of fields, actually. I don't know exactly how many, but quite a bit of them. Well, you know what? I guess I can count these. All these fields here, besides this big one right here and this big one right here, they're all getting planted with carrots. Crazy to do that, but I want to see exactly how much money I can make off those carrots. I feel like that's going to be kind of the tipping point that's going to get us to $100 million, at least skipping these months also on top of that, because we're almost at $50 million, and there's no way I'm ending this episode that short. I got to get over $50 million, but I also got to get these workers out on the field. Not only do 
I have to lime all these fields before planting them? Don't have to, I just like to. But I gotta apply the lime, plant them, and then also our grass fields are due for a harvest, which is great because I am really concerned about how much food I have for the sheep right now. I don't think it's much, but it's been working. I haven't had to buy any yet, let's put it that way. Just trying to think, how am I gonna get to that $50 million? But there's usually one pretty easy way for me to make a million dollars anytime I want to, and that's through solid fertilizer. I hope I have some in storage right now. Yes, I should probably use it on the grass field, but I would rather sell it off and get over that $50 million. So I'm gonna look at that right after I started this mower up. This is the last one I gotta start up. None of my cedars are going. Like I said, I wanna lime first. So those are running right now. Might need to buy some more limers because they're moving a little slow. You know, I don't think I really gotta worry too much about solid fertilizer, but there's something else I saw in here. Right there, solid fertilizer, almost a million dollars. But look at that clothes, $2.2 million. Let's sell off all those clothes. That granny's knitwear just pumped out a whole lot of it. I want to check the other one because after the first month, all that wool was gone. Of course, I upgraded it 10 times. Looking over here at this production, I'm not exactly sure when it may have ran out, but it's getting fabric and that fabric's probably coming from a different location. So it's probably fast too. Either way, something definitely helped boost that whole clothing production quite a bit. Either the production behind me or the granny's knitwear getting upgraded. I'd say a combination of both of them. Got that clothes set up on selling. Got that time going fast. We're about to make some good money. Money. It took us up to $51.1 million, and that breaks our $50 million mark that I really, really wanted to get. Well, didn't know I was going to, but sounds nice, right? Yeah, it's a lot of money. I think we're kind of to the point where we're going to start counting down this last 50-ish million and just bunch of field work, farm work, yard work, whatever, just repetitive work over and over again, because I'm spending hours on each one of these episodes now, and that's taken quite a while, so maybe we'll start counting it down, see how long it takes us to get there. Well, that is actually going to be all the time I got for this episode. I really want to thank y'all so much for stopping in and watching. really do appreciate it. If y'all haven't already, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If y'all got any tips, tricks, or suggestions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section, because they're always welcome. Very much appreciate it, and very much need it. And until next time, y'all take care.